All right, trainees, this is going to be a very, very quick video on gravitational theory and launch pad theory. Now, these two theories are very, very simple to, to understand. The gravitational theory is based on the 200 day moving average or the 200 day exponential moving average, which is what I like to use. And basically, it graphs the overall average, pretty much the VWAP for what the stock price is over the past 200 days. So I like to look at it as a long-term stock price average. So if the long-term stock price average is going sideways, right, then that means there's going to be areas where the stock price is above, where the stock has been purchased above the average price, and there's going to be places where the stock price is purchased below the average price. So with gravitational theory, I have my 200-day exponential moving average as this pink line. And so if you look at any of the graphs, basically what it says is over time, the stock price will get pulled towards the gravitational line because that is the average, right? So it doesn't matter if the stock price is higher, it's above this pink line, it'll get pulled down to the pink line. If it's below the pink line, it'll get pulled up to the pink line. So if it's above the pink line, it means the stock is, it's generally, it's, it's overvalued, right? It, a lot of the stock at that particular period or that particular day is purchased higher than the average price for the past 200 days, which means there's people buying the stock at a higher value, right? If the stock price is below this pink line, it means that people are buying the stock at a discounted value. So over time, the average becomes this pink line, All right? So that's gravitational theory. Launchpad theory is a combination of gravitational theory and the 1330, which is the, the short-term and the mid-term periods, or short-term, mid-term trading. And basically, with Launchpad, it states that if the short-term exceeds the mid-term, and both of those exceed the long-term, then it means in your given period, your short-term and mid-term exceeding the long-term will have an exponential critical rate. And that rate, is going to trigger a lot of institutions to see that the amount of volume, the amount of buying, and the amount of people being interested in a specific stock is going to drastically increase. So I'm gonna give you guys some examples right here. So right now we're looking at TPVG. We have this pink line. This is our gravitational line. And so as you see, the stock price is trading above this pink line. And eventually it goes to this pink line, which is the gravitational line, right? and then it goes down below it, now it's discounted, and people buy here, and it goes back towards this pink line. All right, so it's very simple. It's essentially, this is high, so you're gonna sell, right? And you're gonna sell to about the pink line, and then everyone else who's who sold a little bit late or wanted to cash out or sold the stock was crashing, you know, they either feared out, and they decided to sell as well. So this triggers a bunch of stop losses, which pushes it down to a support line, right? And the support line is where on average, people will buy the stock because they believe that you know, they're getting a really good discounted rate. And so the support line is pretty much when all the buying is in equilibrium with the amount of selling. And that pretty much plateaus the stock price. And so the stock will go sideways. Right? After the stock goes sideways, then the amount of buying, which is the demand, exceeds the supply. Right? So there's, there's not enough supply because all the supply is bought up on the support and people are buying the stock. So as they buy the stock, with a higher demand and a lower supply, stock price goes back up. Stock price goes back up, it goes above the gravitational line, and it comes back down. Right? So keep that theory in mind. Let me show you another one. Here's Tesla. Right? So with Tesla stock, same thing. Now, if, if you look here, this is the gravitational line, it means Tesla has a very high demand. The stock price is soaring. Right? So it's going way above the gravi gravitational line. But as you can see, it's starting to go sideways. Let's go to the one hour period. All right, so in the one hour period, this shows you the overall period for the past 20 days. If you look at the stock price, we'll zoom in right here, this period, the gravitational line is right around 606. So since Tesla stock price on the 14th was right around 619 to 621, it was above the gravitational line. So institutions saw or big traders saw 
the stock price is way above the average for the past 200 days. So they, they wanted to lock in money, so they sold. Stock price gets pulled to the gravitational line. People's stop losses get popped. Supply goes, di supply goes up. People buy the supply at the support line. Stock price goes sideways. And once that happens, the demand exceeds the supply. Then it gets pulled back up to the pink line, which is the gravitational line. Let's go over another example. There's a Airbnb. Same thing right here. As the stock price is being bought, it's going to go above the gravitational line, which is the pink line. And then eventually people will see it's going high and they want to sell and lock in profits. And so it's going to go down towards this pink line. So the stock price will always go up, up above the gravitational line and down below the gravitational line. Here's another example. Let's look at Amazon. Same thing right here. It'll be below, it means it's heavily discounted, it's a good buy, and then it'll go above. So pair, to understand gravitational theory, it's very simple. Just know that if it's above the gravitational line, just like gravity, it will pull you, the stock price will get pulled down towards gravity, right? If it's above gravity, gravity pulls it back down. It's gonna go straight towards the pink line, right? So if you know it's up here, the odds are it's probably gonna sell off because people are going to lock in profits and it's gonna to go to the pink line. And then if it goes below the pink line, which is the 200 day exponential moving average, then it's discounted and people will buy it until it goes back up to the pink line. Now, if the pink line is trending up, overall the stock will be going up. If the pink line is going down, like Carnival Cruise Lines, it means overall the stock price is going down. So you can see the average price is going down here. The second theory is going to be launch pad theory. This theory is basically what I stated earlier. It's when the short term and the midterm cross over and the short term and the midterm overtake the 200 day moving average or exponential moving average, which is the long term. So it's very, very simple, very easy to see right here. We see the yellow line and the purple line cross. The yellow line's going above the purple line and both of these lines, the 13 and the 30, the yellow and purple cross through the pink. That's, that's the number one indicator. If these two short and midterm lines cross through the pink, which is the long term, it means short term and midterm is exceeding the rate of the long term, right? So if more people in the short term are buying a lot more than the average price, that means that the stock price has exceeded the demand, or the, the demand has exceeded the supply, right? So if the demand exceeds the supply, the stock price will heavily jump up. So this is one phenomenon where it is very crucial to pay attention to. Anytime the short term and midterm do cross the long term, the rate at which the stock price soars is very, very exponential. So a long call on Amazon here, you probably could have gotten pretty much 18x uh, if you would have you know, got the bottom and you would have held it all the way up to here. So very, very, very easy, easy to see. So this is the example of Amazon, yellow, yellow and purple cross and then they cross the pink and there's an exponential rise. So from here, it's essentially going from 3,182 to 3,524. Let's take a look here at Tesla. Same thing, yellow and purple cross, right? But here's the exponential. When they cross this pink line, because they cross gravitational theory, right? They, they cross the gravitational line, it works as a launch pad and shoots the stock rocketing straight upwards. Now this happens because the, as the demand buys up, right, supply gets limited and the stock price goes up and traders jump in thinking, oh yeah, it's going to keep going up because people want to buy something that's going up. They want to join in on the action and they want to believe that they're making you know, a ton of money, which they are. I mean, it, the stock price is going up, so they are making money, right? And so there's a, there's a domino effect. It pumps the stock up. In reverse, if you look at Carnival Cruise Lines, same thing. It was pumped up, but as it crosses this gravitational line, it triggers a sell, and if it doesn't go sideways and go back up, it means they're gonna trigger another sell, and then you have what's called a descending triangle. So it goes down, over, down, over, down, over, and down, over, and repeat. So it's a continuation pattern of a descending triangle. Let's look at the other graph. We have Airbnb, right? So right here we have something where the yellow line does cross the purple line. The stock price bounces off the gravitational line goes up and it kind of goes up and down and it gets pulled back to gravity several times and then it goes sideways. 
right? So overall, the stock price is sideways. If you would have got here at 147, it's right around here, 149. So it's pretty much hasn't really moved. I mean, it, you can trade in between here and make lots of money, but overall, it's sideways. The main critical here isn't going to be this point. It's going to be right here because this yellow and this purple cross and then they go through the pink line together. So you can't just have, you can make money when the yellow or the purple goes through the pink, but the absolute critical value or the absolute critical point is when yellow and purple both cross the pink at the exact same time. Because then you're gonna see an exponential value where it goes from 145 to 157, which is extremely significant in comparison with, you know, just the yellow line crosses the pink line. It goes from uh, 143 and then on average, it's about 147. So, I mean, that's still a big jump, but this one's even bigger. All right, same thing for Tesla. Right here, 601, straight up, 697. Huge jump. So we can look at other things like Snapchat, right? So same thing, we, we I did have Snapchat on the 7121 watch list, right? So here, yellow and purple cross the pink line, right? Absolute critical value, hit right here, is the entry zone, so you buy 61 call, goes to 68. This is this was basically a 9x trade right here. Now right here, yellow crosses the purple, but it's above the gravitational line. It does go up, but then it's gonna get pulled back down towards the gravitational line, right? So Snapchat in general, Airbnb in general, is gonna be a call trade, unless you, you see the top and you, you draw your Fibonacci and you know, okay, well, it's probably gonna hit this resistance, then you're gonna buy puts, but overall, by watching gravitational, you're knowing the stock is going up. You're 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 going to be having a higher success rate if you buy calls, unless you know what you're doing to buy puts. Same thing here for Airbnb. Same thing for Tesla. Overall, pink line is going up. If the pink line is going sideways, that is pretty much when you're going to want to day trade or look for gaps where the stock is going to have a sell-off, right? Because it's going to basically bounce off the gravitational line. But the main point is is of this video is to differentiate between the gravitational theory and the launch pad theory. So once again, yellow and purple crossing the pink at the exact same time sets it up for launch pad theory, which basically will allow the stock price to rocket. 